family and welcome back if you're new here my name is Dorothy my friends call me Doro and I make videos showing people how to lose weight and to maintain their weight loss three years ago I started on a health journey and I have been growing and learning ever since today I want to talk about how to stop eating round the clock so in the past I had put on so much weight I couldn't stop eating it was like an emotional thing if I am bored I would just open the fridge if I'm at home just look for something to eat I was making baking every time you know cookies cakes I was just eating I think just emotional eating I was just eating and eating and eating yeah when I decided to you know go on my plant-based diet Originally, it wasn't easy to stop eating around the clock. I had to look for ways to eat healthier options. I had to give up the cookies and cakes and commercial um, baked goods and switch to you know, healthier things. But I still couldn't stop eating. So I would get stuff like, I switched to stuff like um, sweet peppers, baby carrots, and um, chestnuts yeah so i was still you know snacking on this all the time it still didn't help me so for your overall health you need to address eating round the clock how to overcome it i stumbled on intermittent fasting it has been a game changer for me so i do 14 to 18 hour windows like when i stop eating to the next time i need to eat and that has helped me to curb the cravings to just always eat. I love crunchy stuff, so I'm always looking for something to nibble on. But when I started doing intermittent fasting, it changed the game. Today, with time, I have learned even not to just snack and snack and snack and snack. Even though that is, you know, healthy options, I just don't snack that much anymore. So. If you're trying to give up, you know, eating round the clock, you need to be able, you know, to look at your overall health and decide to do something about it. When you get that mindset and then you start looking for healthier options, try the things I did. Yeah, I stopped cookies, cakes and all those pastries and I started, you know, eating stuff that was high in fiber plenty of veggies and with time my taste buds changed and I love raw veggies I can make a salad and not even bother to put dressing on it and I just enjoy the natural tastes of these vegetables it didn't happen in one day you can go gradually so as you're you know transitioning from eating round the clock you start getting healthier options get the baby carrots get the sweet peppers chestnuts are very high in fiber and that's so filling yeah and then there's this thing that i make my um veggie big i just grab a bunch of veggies cut them up season them throw them in my oven bake them and just keep them in my fridge so meal planning is also helpful if you have something healthy to eat you'll be less prone to turn to those unhealthy options. So be intentional with what you eat. Make it a conscious effort, you know, to eat stuff that is healthy. And as you start transitioning and making your own healthy things, you begin to, you know, not even desire to eat so much all the time. Your body just starts adjusting the weight starts falling off as you start switching to healthy options the weight starts falling off and you're encouraged when you see the positive changes and you don't need to eat that much all the time willpower is also important you need to have some willpower it doesn't come easy but as i said baby steps you try and gradually as you see yourself improving you know you're encouraged to keep you know pushing forward push forward push forward yeah but originally just switch to healthier options 
give up all the commercial stuff white flour is used in baking all these commercial things and it's so unhealthy when you know that you you know you're moved to do something about it with time i learned to make my own snacks i do make my own crackers because i love crunchy stuff i do make my own cookies i do make my own cakes yeah i love those things but i had to learn how to make them healthy with you know healthier grains yeah i buy my own grains and mill them and i make my own stuff so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel you want to you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video and let's help each other you know as you begin to do these things watch my videos i make simple recipes helping you to you know transform your life yeah if i look back three years ago i was a totally different person today i can sit here and talk about eating healthy it's a miracle in itself because I was that person that ate emotionally. If I'm upset, I'm opening the fridge, looking for something to eat. Yeah. But as I started cleaning my health, cleaning my, you know, eating habits, I lost those cravings. It takes time, but you will get there. So you want to share your experience in, you know, handling, eating around the clock, and how you were able to overcome it. For me, intermittent fasting made the difference. And as I learned to make my own snacks, I didn't even need to eat that much. And my body just adapted to the changes. And I've never looked back. I'm aging backwards. I just turned 50 this year. And I look like I look in my 30s. And I am amazed at the difference. I'm, a, I'm amazed at the changes my body you know, is making. And I'm encouraged to keep going. And I want you to do the same. It is your life. You live in that body. Take care of it. Your doctor will not take care of you. So join me in this journey. Hit the subscribe button. Watch my videos. Try my recipes. And see the change happen for you. See the miracle happen for you.